Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I break down all the goals scored in the Premier League. Use my over 20 plus years of coaching experience, I try to give you different insights into stuff that uh, other morons on the internet won't do. So right now I'm doing Manchester City against Burnley that happened the, uh, this evening. And I want to show you this little goal coming in here. Um, there's a couple of points I want to make about this first goal. And there's an interesting offside call. Now, I'm going to argue that in a second, but we'll get to that. Um, but look, you're looking at a back line, and you can see there isn't because there's pressure on the ball here. So this pocket of space is open, and every single City player sees it. And they're looking for a, a little hooked ball into the back, which they get because, look, there is no sort of discipline in what they're doing here. You can't pressure. Look at the difference in body shape. He's facing that way. He's facing that way. There's all sorts of issues going on. You can't be pressing if there's that gap in there. Everything is just disjointed. And it is. So this little hook ball is devastating. And also, you can see the difference look, just in how messy everything is and the separation between the two centre-backs and how far apart everybody is. By the way, these might be the two centre-backs. It's Vincent Company. He might be playing three at the back. God knows. But as this goes on, this is a situation which you can't really cope with. It just comes down to pace. Now, if your body position, which was wrong in the first place is bad, then you can't necessarily beat him for pace if he's faster than you. Hopefully you're quicker than him, but not in this case. And we go on and we go to a foot race. But I want to jump forward and uh, get your opinion on this, because by the letter of the law, this might be offside. So right here, he's tried to find the guy in the middle and he hasn't found him. He's, he's clicked the ball back and he's not found this guy. It's bounced off him. This defender has not passed the ball. It's just bounced off him. Now that's a difference in the... You, in the law but also what i want you to look at the other players as fast as these guys have got back these haven't they've got no desire no determination to get back in and cover anyone that might be a potential goal scorer none whatsoever which is awful but now i want you to watch this so this guy here he's going to run into an offside position remember just because he's touched the ball it doesn't mean that he gets a free pass he only does if he intends to pass the ball then he's allowed to intercept him being in an offside position but that's not what he's done here it's ricocheted off him so this guy now is going into an offside position Okay, he hasn't passed the ball, so he doesn't get that free pass of while well, the defender's touched it. It doesn't matter if a defender's touched it. It matters if, is it, if a defender intentionally passes it, which he does not do. So it, the uh, little loop around goes here. You can see he's still offside. Now he's coming offside to play a ball. He's in an offside position. The defender didn't pass the ball. By the letter of the law, this is 100% offside. No one even thinks about it. No one even calls about it. But uh, what am I surprised? Because everyone in the Premier League is a moron. Um, plays a nice little dink ball, though. Let's play that forward. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we've got to pause it because we're going to get done by copyright. But look at this. We've got so many players coming in here completely and utterly unmarked. One of the back posts. It's, they're all queuing up because they're so lackadaisical of getting back. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Burnley players, one, two, three, four, five, six Man City players. You've got to ask yourself, what's the rest of Burnley doing? Why aren't they all back in floodgates? They know they're playing against Man City. This box should be filled with their players. It's not. Absolutely terrible. Little dink, unmarked between two players and gets a goal. All around, it's just awful. Forget my little technical understanding of understanding the offside rule, and that was offside, but there's a guy in the middle of the box here, unmarked, when you've had all the time in the world to identify the targets, track them, mark them, and deal with them. And they haven't. That's terrible. Let's get on to the next goal. Here we are. We're looking at the next goal straight from a free kick. And what's happened is De Bruyne, he's back being a superstar and he's played a straight through ball. And this run has come along and the guy slots it into the net box. Everyone's assuming it's going to the back post because they're all morons. And no one has actually switched on to anything that could be possibly different than the same thing that they do in training every single day. So we're going to play this forward a little bit, but I'm trying to show you another angle where I can show you a better workup of exactly what is going on. Bosh, in we go. Here we go. Completely nutly unaware of what's going on 
and a guy just comes in and he gets himself a goal. This is the first little bit I want to show you because the run dictates the pass. And unfortunately, I don't, I'm don't. i not good enough to actually stop it and show exactly where the guy starts his run there and he starts his little curved run and goes in behind. The run dictates the pass. That's what's important here. Bosch, he's in behind already. You can see how good the pass is because the run is fantastic. And both together make a nice goal. But what I'm now going to try to show you is another angle of this guy here who's got no idea what's going on. And this guy here is, is close enough, but he's assuming that this ball's going into the back post. And he doesn't even really... Well, he does kind of anticipate, but he's not smart enough and sharp enough to understand something different can go on in the game of football than the norm. And here we go. You can see this guy right here. He's already breaking to do his run. Look at his body position. He's already trying to get in behind. This defender is not defending. He hasn't got a bloody clue what's going on here. This guy, as much as I'm giving him a hard time for not being sharp, he is Johnny on the spot. He is the first one to react. And we'll see this. This guy's already gone. De Bruyne already knows. Let's watch. Dosh. Do we see? Okay, he's already going. But this guy's way too late. He's not paying any attention whatsoever. And then I want to show you something at the end about his body language as well. Watch this. I've got to move it on. The ball's gone into the net. Did you see that? There's no reaction whatsoever. Look, you can see these guys are like going, what are you doing? Look at them. Look at them both. Go, what are you doing? And this guy's just not even reacted or paid any attention to how simple that was. There's one, two, three players looking at this guy thinking he's a clown. Yeah, and he is. I'm going to try to show you this in a couple of little simple uh, screen grabs because uh, you'll understand exactly what's going on. The ball's just being played because this guy's way out of position. There's the back line. They're being pushed back. It's just a ball into the space to go and chase. Because for some reason, they're playing. They're up here with a massively high line. And the moment this ball's gone here, they haven't thought for a second to try to drop off and take the space away. But there we go. Now it's a foot race. Who's the quickest? Clearly he is. He's getting, the City players getting their way before the Burnley player. So now we know, OK, we're waiting for the quality of the cross. Now, what do Man City do? Every single time Man City, they don't put balls in. They wait. They, take, they patiently wait and they wait to pick the right pass. Hmm. OK, so we're tracking here. We're happy with that. Watch this guy here. Just keep your eye on him. Look how far back he is. Look at these other players and watch what goes on. He checks his run, which is perfect. I like it because, well, personally, I, I, would, I would have played the ball in earlier. That's what I would have done with my teams and expected my strikers to get, to get on to the end of it. He hasn't done that. He's taken a bit of a check. But watch what's happened. As he's checked, this guy's checked, and he's made himself a bit of space. Okay? Not bad, not bad. Clearly on the back post, we've got loads of space as well. As it holds up, though, watch. Bump. Everyone's watching the ball. Do you remember that guy who was on the halfway line? He's slowly, slowly tracking in. And if you've ever watched my channel before, one of the main things I talk about on corners, if you want to pay attention to defend, if you want to do anything as a centre midfielder to score goals or defend against them, you basically stand around this area here. You can see that there's no Burnley player anywhere near this area here. They've got sucked into the ball. These two are fine here. This guy needs to step forward a little bit closer. And this guy, who was miles ahead of this guy, needs to get better and get uh, in much tighter because he's just going to walk in. Rodri's just going to walk in here and he's going to finish this goal. We're going to play that on in a minute. But basically, what the two paths is, this guy, this guy here and this guy here, he's come and walked to here. He has come from here to there. He has no into, like no idea that there's a football player right next to him or paid any attention to go there. What are you doing? Trying to cover this guy over here. You can see where the football is. W what are you doing? What are you marking here other than space? Here's the guy that's receiving the ball. You're not in the middle of the field. It's, it's just pathetic. You've run all the way up to here. He's run all the way to here and you've just let him score for free. Bosh, straight into the corner because you ran completely and utterly the wrong way. For some reason, you thought it was smart to run to this point here instead of to the person that was going to receive the ball. Yeah, bad at the football. Let's get on to the last goal. 
Okay, this is quite an interesting goal, actually, from um, a couple of different points of view. But this Man City defender has no idea that this guy's going to take him on and try to beat him into the corner here. Because generally that doesn't happen, especially in the Premier League. They don't try to beat the player 1v1, take it down and deliver an across. And that's what he does. You can see it in the way that his body movement goes because he's kind of shocked when the defender goes. Watch. We'll move it forward a bit. Bump, bump, bump. He's tapping. But there we go. There's his, his, um, his acceleration. He's changed his body position. Sorry, his... Um, uh, body momentum he's exploded off his back foot can you see that where his back foot is he's pushing off that to go into the corner this guy's uh, on a standing stance with his weight equally on both feet mimbo if you're a um a G Kundo fan but there we go off he goes bosh and he's going right around him here's the other thing though burnley players don't really have anybody attacking the front post at this moment absolutely none so even if he beats him there it's going to be a bit of luck if they get a goal so let's see what happens shall we Okay, he's beating the player. He's got around him. He's looking to pass it in. It's a terrible cross. The keeper kind of makes a fluff of it, and they get a bit of luck and bundle it into the net box. Overall, no, not a great goal, but it does show that City can be got at. It does show that City's back four is a little bit vulnerable this season, but they'll still win the league. I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football.